He was never really fond of loading railroad boxcars on hot summer days or selling Christmas trees while his friends were enjoying the holidays. But it certainly gave him the passion needed to become the third generation leader of one of the largest produce operations in the country. Meet Robert Bob Castellini, chairman of the Castellini Company, which was started by his grandfather, Joseph J.J. Castellini, in 1896. Back then, the Castellini Company was a small purveyor of fruits and vegetables. Bob's father, Robert, led the company from 1927 until his untimely death in 1952. Young Bob, the only son in a family of eight, was just 10 years old when his father died. Fortunately, his sister Claire took over until 1967 when Bob assumed leadership after graduating from Georgetown University and Wharton Graduate School. Less than a year later, a five-alarm fire gutted the Castellini Company's landmark building on the riverfront. But the company was open for business the next day, working out of a nearby warehouse. Bob definitely has a passion for everything he does, and, and particularly in business. He built his company up to a tremendous force in this community. Today, the Castellini Management Company is a $350 million enterprise, serving every aspect of the wholesale produce business, from wholesale distribution, brokerage, transportation, repacking and ripening, to fresh cut processing. The sense of enabling other people to achieve and accomplish is, is a great, great high. It's, it's uh, probably the greatest satisfaction that I have in, in my business life. What motivates Bob to be involved on a civic basis is his great love of Cincinnati. I don't know anybody who loves Cincinnati anymore, totally committed to this city, grew up here, raised his family here, uh, cares about the institutions which are important to Cincinnati. Well, Bob is such a strong supporter of Xavier University that everybody just assumes that he must be a Xavier alum. But in point of fact, he's not. He went to Georgetown University. And as you may know, Georgetown's mascot is a bulldog. And that's a good image for me, for Bob in a way, because boy, when he sinks his teeth into something, he just don't let go of it, you know? I'm just really glad that Bob is our bulldog and not Georgetown's bulldog. If you love your community and you have all, all of these associates that you're responsible for bringing into the community or keeping in the community, it only stands to reason that, that you want to make the community even better for the next generation. It's a very gratifying experience to be able to give back. Whether it's serving as president of the Cincinnati Zoo or co-chairing the Art Museum's capital campaign, close friends say Bob extends himself into the community. His support of the National Underground Railroad Museum and his dedication to TriHealth, where he serves as chairman of the board, demonstrate that with Bob, what you see is what you get. You get Bob Castellini. You get, you get honesty, you get truth, and he's very competitive. He has a passion for life. When he parties, he parties. When he plays, he plays. And when he works, he works. He doesn't do anything halfway. Bob is a very generous individual. He has a big heart, and he spends a tremendous amount of his own personal time with civic, charitable endeavors, which a lot of people don't take the time for and would sooner write the check. There is no greater demonstration of Bob's commitment to education than his support of Xavier University, where he chaired the college's recent capital campaign as a member of the Board of Trustees. His own support has been terrific, but what he's done behind the scenes is something that most people will never know about, except that everywhere they go around Xavier and everywhere they look, they're going to see it. There are more sides to Bob. There's the golf enthusiast, the family man, and the friend. Bob's a good family man. He is now a grandfather, which he loves. He loves to travel, and he has a great capacity to laugh at himself. In all the trips that we did, every evening always included everybody in the family. So all the kids, all the adults, everybody got together every night and had a great time. My wife Susie was the daughter of a Fortune 500 CEO, and she understood my dedication and determination to grow our business to where I would hope we would look back and say we, we had a pretty good balance in our lives between family and business. He's a great friend, and not just to me, but to all those who are around him. If you're impassioned about what you do, and you work with or for people that you respect, you're going to have a very uh, productive and a very happy career. Junior Achievement welcomes Bob Castellini into the 2002 Business Hall of Fame. 